Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon Lee with Virtualization How To, and I welcome you home labbers, tech enthusiasts, enterprise admins, or just techies out there that like to learn about new and exciting technologies. And I want to tell you guys, I have been knee deep in my home lab environment ever since the release of vSphere 8 testing and playing around with this new release and it's really fantastic. However, I think there is a feature that is sort of flying under the radar when you compare it with the other features and capabilities we get with vSphere 8 and that is the new ESXi 8.0 Host Client 2. Yes, VMware has updated the local host client that is included with the ESXi server itself. So I think this is going to really appeal to home labbers that are perhaps not running vCenter server and you just have a single ESXi host in your environment that you don't have managed with vCenter server, this new ESXi host client 2 is very close to the experience that you get with vSphere client. Grab a hot cup of tea, a hot cup of coffee, and let's dive right into ESXi 8.0 host client 2. Hey guys, so I have navigated out to an ESXi 8.0 server that I have up and running as a nested virtual machine in my home lab environment. And as you can see, this new host client is clearly different when we navigate out just simply to the login page. We have the normal styling and colors that we have been seeing in many of their solutions like NSX or VROPS. Styling is, is all coming together here for the local host client. So as you can see, VMware ESXi host client. So let me go ahead and log in and we'll take the uh, tour of the host client. So here we have it. We're in the brand new ESXi 8.0 host client 2, as VMware is calling it. And I believe in the release notes, interestingly, it is 2.5, uh, not 2.0. Uh, however, in their documentation, they're simply calling it host client 2, I guess just simply because the previous versions were one dot releases. They have made mention that for the most part, the workflows that you get with the host client 2 are similar. So like if we want to simply create a new virtual machine, the workflow and the dialog boxes and the prompts that we get are similar. However, subtle changes have been made and updates to the look and feel that are going to make this appear more seamless, where you can see everything better. The new host client adopts what they refer to as the Clarity framework. And this is the framework that they have been using with the most modern releases of vSphere client that we get with vCenter server. So we can see how they are bringing this full circle and integrating all of the changes that have been brought about by the Clarity UI enhancements. One of those is the new typography. They have enhanced the fonts and spacings of those fonts and again making the styling gel and flow a lot more easily. One of the things as well with the host client too of course it can now deal with and understand the hardware version 20 as a technical enhancement. Us geeks, one of the things that we like to see is various cool things that we can do with this new UI. One of the things that I really like is the ability to now drastically customize the UI interface. So it's kind of odd where they put this, uh, in my opinion. It kind of seems like it may have been under settings or preferences of some sort. However, if you go to help and about, uh, actually, you can find the new ability to switch between the light mode, which is interesting in itself as you guys can see the default here is a gray toned theme when you select the light theme it's not blisteringly white as you would see in other defaults with a light theme however we get this nice gray theme it's it's toned down i like the colors and again, here's the new icon for ESXi, starting with version 8.0. If we swap this to dark, you will see you get this beautiful dark interface. I really like if I close this now, everything just pops with the dark theme, the fonts on the page, the all the statistical graphs, everything about it just really is nice. And again, this is HTML5, so it's snappy, it is quick. However, the one dot releases of the host client were 
fairly snappy as well. This new dark theme is really nice. And if we go back to the help and about, one of the things that uh, you can do now as well is you can not only uh, swap between light and dark, you can click the customize theme so we can customize user theme. If we play around with this and get a little bit crazy, we can go in and we can change something pretty drastically. So let's go to a different color. And as we can see, it automatically changes that in real time. So you can get really crazy with the color schemes that you want to use and customize in your environment for your own purposes and needs uh, and display preferences. So it's really awesome feature. One of the things I like that they included with this is a reset button. So if you went wild and crazy and you're like, man, I don't know how to get back to where it was by default, you can just hit, simply hit the reset button, you're back to square one. So that is really nice feature. One of the other UI enhancements that you can find is in the data store browser. They have enhanced the look and feel of this particular dialog box. One of the things that they have added that's pretty cool and I think very valuable, especially if you're uh, looking at the information, wanting to expand the panels so you can view file names or folder names. They have the little dots at the bottom and you can grab a hold of these and contract and expand these. You can move them around and it's really nice feature there that you can expand those as needed so that you can see and have more real estate when you're looking at files and folders. So that's a pretty cool feature. Another interesting and I think really cool feature and actually practical if you're dealing with compliance and other things that require an administrative banner when logging into business critical systems and that is the ability with a new host class Client to add a banner to that login page. And really cool thing, it's just a simple file that you create in the root of Etsy VMware. And the file that you create is called Welcome without any file extension. We can edit that page. And the really cool thing about this new Welcome functionality is that it understands Markdown. If you know Markdown syntax, which is extremely intuitive and easy, you can create really great looking administrative banners. And VMware actually has a KB article with many examples that you can just literally copy and paste. And one of these that I am copying and pasting is simply a warning authorized users only. So let's save that and let's go back to the host client that we're logged in. We're going to log out. As you see, it automatically refreshed. I didn't even have to hit F5 or refresh the browser. It automatically places that banner. Really great functionality there. And especially that is practical and needed in many cases when you're dealing with compliance and these types of configurations are required in some environments. What do you think about the new Host Client 2 included with ESXi 8.0? I think it's really fantastic and I think it's going to be a great addition for those that are running home lab environments maybe with a single ESXi server without vCenter server in the mix. You're going to get the same look and feel as well as the overall seamless nature of the vSphere client without really having to run the vSphere client which is associated with vCenter server. This is going to be a great addition to the home lab as a vSphere 8 and I think again many are going to really like this new UI enhancement. Maybe a feature of the ESXi 8.0 release that you have not heard about as of yet. Well I'm Brandon Lee. Please do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys soon.